God fully supported Maryam throughout her pregnancy. It is very difficult for a woman to give birth, a potentially life-threatening experience, all alone, without medical equipment or a midwife's assistance. Nevertheless, Maryam overcame all of these difficulties by placing her complete trust in God. He helped her with revelations while she was struggling towards a date tree in the full throes of labor. The pains of labor drove her to the trunk of a date palm. She exclaimed, Oh, if only I had died before this time, and was something discarded and forgotten. A voice called out to her from under her, Do not grieve. Your Lord has placed a small stream at your feet. Shake the trunk of the palm toward you, and fresh ripe dates will drop down to you. Eat and drink, and delight your eyes. There is also great wisdom in the way that God tells Maryam not to grieve and to eat dates, and that he had created a small stream for her. There are indications of various methods of facilitating birth in all these verses. God commanded Maryam not to grieve, but to keep her spirits up. Modern medicine has shown that it is most important for mother and baby for a pregnant woman or one about to give birth to avoid stress and to maintain a positive state of mind. In the same verses, it is reported that God commanded Madiam, who was suffering from labor pains, to shake a date branch towards her. Doctors say that pulling something toward oneself during labor can have a positive effect on the muscles. In order to ease labor pains and help bring about a safe delivery, women are advised to do certain exercises that reduce pressure in the body and, therefore, the risk of complications during delivery. They are also thought to quicken the process of giving birth. Another thing emphasized in the verses is dates. Today, such dates are considered to be a food and medicine. Scientists now know that dates contain more than 10 substances considered essential for the human body's well-being and continued good health. Scientists now inform us that people can survive on dates and water for years because they contain all of the necessary essentials for human life. Dates provide energy, help muscle tissues and nerve cells develop, and are especially beneficial for people weakened by illness or those suffering from exhaustion because of their high calorific value. Modern medical findings suggest that dates benefit women who are almost ready to give birth. Doctors now advise pregnant women to take fructose containing foods on their due dates. For such foods provide energy used by the weakened body to revitalize itself. The substance known as oxytocin, which is found in dates, is used as a drug to make giving birth easier. Oxytocin is used in modern medicine to accelerate labor and is often referred to as rapid birth. It also increases the level of milk production following birth. We may list a few of the benefits from the vitamins and minerals and dates for the normal human body and during pregnancy thus. They contain folic acid, 
an essential vitamin for pregnant women. It meets the body's need for potassium caused by physical reactions and long-term nausea during pregnancy. It meets the body's increased need for vitamin A during pregnancy. Most fruits are poor in protein, but the protein in dates helps protect the body against disease and infections. The iron in dates prevents anemia during pregnancy. All of our current information on dates reveals God's infinite wisdom and grace upon Madiam. Who, inspired by God, might have satisfied all her nutritional needs by eating dates and thereby easing her child's birth. God knows best, of course. God created a stream for Madiam. In addition to dates, God also created a stream for Madiam. We know that water is important in various regards during pregnancy. Even just the sight or sound of water can automatically regulate the actions of the muscles. Water, like dates, eases labor pains and regulates muscle tension. In fact, some modern birth clinics have pools in which the delivery takes place. Water intake is especially necessary because the volume of blood increases and because of the developing baby's needs. Women who choose to breastfeed need plenty of water to produce the necessary amount of milk. These facts, that science has only uncovered in our own time, reveal a great many miracles in the verses of the Qur'an dealing with Maryam's pregnancy.